police department. Everybody, get your hands up. Portsmouth police are simulating what it's like to be in a life or death situation. You want to train how you're going to act in a real life scenario. This is body camera footage from the shoot don't shoot scenario. Nib, get back. Drop the knife. Field training officer Jeffrey Barber says unless you've been in it, you can't say how you'll react. With these force on force situations, force is ugly. You know, if you see two people get into a fight, it's ugly and it's violent and people know it. That's why it takes at least nine months to a year to train an officer to react properly in tough situations including this one, where a pregnant woman threatens the officer with a knife. They're also trained to fight through whatever happens. We don't want them to say, oh my gosh, I've just been shot, and then to lay down and that be the end of the scenario. We want you to be able to fight through it. The goals of the training is to keep communities safe and ensure officers go home to their families. Unfortunately, it, it seems like we're having to be gentler and gentler while people are getting more and more aggressive and there's no way that you know I uh, will be able to go home to our you know families and stuff if we don't sit there and stop a threat. Officers are hoping with this inside look at their stringent training people will see it can be hard to understand what's going through their mind. For Barber his hopes are simple. I love this country and hopefully people can start you know, realizing that the police love this country too and we're here to help. Reporting in Portsmouth, Kim Kung, News 3.